You know what time it is. It's the breakdown. Good morning, DHS, and welcome to the final episode of The Breakdown for this first semester. Starting us off is Alina Hibble and Sofia Alvarado looking into the funding of the art department. Let's take a look. Funding for the art department at Davis High has recently been cut. AP Art History and Ceramics teacher Doug Wright says this isn't a new phenomenon. I do feel that we've had more money in the past, and it seems like it's getting less and less. Kyle Monholland teaches AP Studio Art. AP Art History, and Drawing and Painting. He says that these budget cuts will have detrimental effects on the department. In this classroom, uh, consumable um, drawing tools, paint, paper especially is really expensive and only getting more expensive. And the ceramic studio goes through tons of clay and glazes, um, none of which get cheaper over time. In fact, uh, over the last five to ten years have gone up a lot. From materials, the art department is hoping for a new building. Yeah, most of the art classes are in the A wing, which is an older wing at school, and we do tend to have a more, uh, we have a bigger physical impact on our space than uh, like a traditional classroom, English or history. So yeah, the plumbing gets uh, affected and we have um, pretty important uh, HVAC, uh, heating and ventilation uh, concerns with the materials that we use in the classroom. Um, so it's all in need of updating for sure. DHS is currently in the process of constructing a new STEM building. Uh, administration in general uh, decided to um, allocate those classrooms uh, for other subjects and pulled the arts out. So uh, we had an opportunity to be in a new space and now we, we don't. So um, hopefully that'll change in the future. Junior Rowan Sutton is a student in Monholland's AP Studio Art class. I think specifically last year when we were looking at the difference between the AP Art students and the regular studio students, there was a lot of emphasis on us preserving materials. And I know that there was that comes from like a passive underlying of being like there is not a lot of money for us to spend on materials from this. This is not something the school particularly prioritizes. Um, Sutton says the art students are aware of this deficit in funding. When you think of DHS, you think of it as a STEM school. You think of the football team, you think of our sports, you think of the you know massive budgets building that we're about to get. And I do think that the art students have noticed we don't get as much of attention and the computer doesn't get as much of attention as like the STEM facilities would. I mean, we're sitting in a closet right now. This is where all of the resources for most of the 2D art classes are. And it's, it's pretty wrecked in here. Um, I mean, we make good work of it, but you know, we would love to see a shiny new building. So. Monholland said there are things the Davis community can do to support our arts department. Yeah, well, it starts from a, a student and a family level. Um, keep enrolling in art classes. If you're curious about it, uh, don't be afraid. Take an art class. It's going to uh, value, have value in your education and uh, likely uh, be fun as well. Um, for folks who can vote on local issues when they come up, uh, as far as any sort of school related funding but particular arts related funding uh, to support that uh, and then just in a broader sense um, keep yourself aware of and engaged in community arts events things through the school uh, theater productions music productions and um, art events visit galleries stay engaged for the breakdown this is alina hibble reporting thank you so much for a great first semester see you next year happy holidays dhs